Hey, Paula. Meet me at the partner. I think it's a lot, a lot, a lot of that shit have to do with like a nigga being in his own way too. You feel me? Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of opportunities I miss. Um, doing like doing drugs too, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we might get high and kick it, and then I might get so goddamn high, I might have to go home and lay down about three days or a week. But you feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. I didn't say three days or a week. Or a week. Cause you know we be go, we might go hard. Like you said, we be in them club. The 10 Monday, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday. Leave the club, leave the studio, go to the club, kick it, got them being out all night. You know what I said? Spending the money for the show. Then that thing, you know, shit, a, a big week might come to the studio. Hey, bro, we looking for you. You feel me? I done missed a lot of opportunities. Yeah, a lot of opportunities and uh, TV shows and that not not re not necessarily reality, but like TV opportunities. You know, a lot of a lot of shit too had lined up. You know what I mean? It was a, it was a glitch in it because of the, the lifestyle that we you know that we do choose. It kind of bleed over into the professional. You feel what I'm saying? So I can I I get what a nigga saying, but like, I do take accountability too, though. You know what I mean? For like for what I I know I've done. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> and as far as being somewhere. Well, nigga, think I should be. I appreciate a person thinking that I should be there, but I've been there in my time. You know what I mean? I did exactly what I supposed to did when Shoulder Lean came out. You know, mm -hmm. what I, mean? I got plaques for that. You know what I mean? And after that, I still got plaques for all the other shit I put out. And it's just a repeated thing. You know what I mean? So when it, when when they ask, you know, it they just don't see what, the, um, like when the big wigs give you the deals and. You know, you be have you be this radio station, that radio station. Like when you turn, once you turn independent with it, and start doing and start moving on your own, you don't really just see all of that. You know what I mean? The big deals and shit. Like I've been I've been doing this shit like on my own. You know what I mean? When they when they hear a hit, I be at the studio. Don't nobody pay for no sessions. I just be in that motherfucker, come up with a hit, take it in, and just spread. It. You know what I mean? I make my grip go back to where I came from. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to, ain't nobody ordering me around and shit like that. You know what I mean? But I think that you saying that just mm -hmm. goes to show that how much you respect it as an artist. Mm -hmm. Cause ain't a lot of niggas drop songs and it just get it just blow up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it be a lot of niggas who have be having a good song, mm -hmm. but it's just like you know how to make a hit. Yeah. Niggas don't know how to make hits. This is what it is. Mm 